Once upon a time, in a serene village nestled among towering mountains, there lived a wise Zen master named Koji. He was known far and wide for his profound teachings and the peace that radiated from his very being. People from distant lands traveled to seek his guidance and learn the art of controlling their minds. One day, a curious young student named Aiko arrived at the Zen master's humble abode. Eager to grasp the essence of mindfulness, Aiko requested the master's wisdom in a world increasingly dominated by distractions and chaos. Koji smiled warmly and invited Aiko to sit under the shade of a majestic cherry blossom tree. As they gazed upon the flowing river, the master began his tale. In a nearby village, Koji began, there lived a young boy named Hiro. Hiro possessed great talent and an insatiable desire to control everything around him. He yearned for the power to manipulate the world according to his will. Aiko's eyes widened with curiosity, captivated by the story unfolding before him. One day, continued Koji, Hiro heard tales of a magical flute that could bend the will of anyone who heard its enchanting melodies. Determined to possess this instrument of control, Hiro embarked on a perilous journey deep into the enchanted forest. With every step Hiro took, his mind became consumed by the thought of gaining power over others. The desire to control grew stronger, clouding his thoughts and preventing him from experiencing the beauty of the forest around him. After days of wandering, Hiro stumbled upon an old, wise hermit who had long ago renounced the worldly pursuits of power and control. The hermit greeted Hiro with compassion and asked him about his quest. Hiro eagerly revealed his intentions, explaining that once he possessed the magical flute, he could bend the will of others to fulfill his desires. The hermit listened attentively, his eyes filled with understanding. He then gently spoke, Young Hiro, true power lies not in controlling others but in mastering oneself. To control the world, one must first learn to control their own mind. Hiro looked puzzled, unsure of what the hermit meant, 